yeah guys so as I touched on in one of my earlier videos I had another of these modules similar to the temperature one we used last time and in this one it is a RGB LED controller in the packet you get the the board and you get this small three pin wire which here yeah, I've hooked up and these basically hook up to anything that's based on the WS 2812B standard so you've got VCC ground and one wire which is for the control and the signal so on these modules you normally get a couple of solder points and you have one in and one out and that's because you can daisy chain these things so these LEDs are great you can get them in different form factors you can get them individual so you can get circles like this or you can get them strips like this these ones are great they're dead easy just to solder on some headers on there you'll notice this one's got four pins that's because it's got two grounds either side so these are what I used in my earlier nightlight that I did way last year and when I was digging through the boards and I was looking I thought well hang on a minute we could use this again so what I'll do is I'll just show how it works basically if I hook up this power supply here if I plug this guy in should have probably left the power at last but never mind okay so when it's hooked up what we can do is turn that on now that's going to pretty much drown out the camera so if I try and tame that down a bit nope too much there we go maybe uh, a bit more there we go so at the moment they're just playing white but we can set them to blue red yellow green yeah you get the idea and these are individually addressable so we just control them as a whole but you can do funky patterns and all this kind of stuff and that's where the light I did last year came into play so what I did was if I bring it in I went about updating the internals to use this new version now I wouldn't say it's any better than the last setup with the Wemos D1 Mini but it's certainly a little bit slicker as far as the connectivity I went for a different boost converter here which basically takes in the light bulb battery gives us 5 volts out but also you'll notice I'm still retaining the wireless charging and that's just done all by this one little board which is great it was quite some time ago I purchased it but if I can find it I'll link it down below and then here's the, the board I mentioned two light bulb batteries in there and then you'll see as I mentioned if you didn't see the video last year we're just using a string of the WS 2812B LEDs and this is a case I designed and these LEDs just curl around the edge I've just glued those down and just stopped there and there's 15 of them if I remember correctly and then we can just set various things and this is pretty funky it was originally done as a nightlight for my little boys and there you go it's kind of the little flying saucer and it looks pretty funky if I do say so myself if I turn the light down a little bit go ahead light we should be able to see better no I don't want to yeah you can see how funky that looks and I must admit this is the kind of go-to pattern that I use you can set the brightness from 0 to 255 in the sketch and I've got this set to about 150 so you could certainly make it a lot brighter if you want to but I was kind of weighing up the benefits of doing this using the um, battery powered basically so if I uh, turn the lights back up again and turn this little fella off now this is the sketch that same sketch that I designed last year just gives you the web page that you go to and you can go through the various so that's rainbow cycle you can just set it to um, strobe and then we can change that to strobe red strobe blue strobe clean and you can do these various things so it's a bit of a refresh of it I've got two batteries in this time and we'll see how long they last and um, the most important thing that I did design last time was the bedtime mode and that just starts up at full brightness and then over a 15 minute period it just lessens down and down and then it'll turn the light off in the end the codes there I'll link down below and you could certainly change that code just so that it 
it tape us down and leaves just a little bit light on and that would last through the night. You've got your protection built in there so that it means you're not going to run the batteries down too low and what it could be is that you just stick it on your wireless charging pad next day, no cables to plug in and that's going to charge your light back up ready for the next night. That's one thing I would actually possibly use these little boards for. The Dallas temp sensors, uh, I'm not so sure but yeah, certainly do work. And one thing just to touch on is that you can make them work with Home Assistant and that is what I was actually using for this one here. So I've got it enabled, then we can control this and we can change the colours on a little colour wheel. This is a very basic ESP Home which again is what I've used previous so if you want to know how to code that up you can look at my previous videos. It gives you a lot of control there and as you can see you can get these things pretty darn bright. Now the beauty is that they have their own built-in linear voltage regulator, the same as the last ones, and that means you feed your 5 volts in, don't have to worry about stepping down the power for your ASP01. For something small like this, you can just power it directly off this module and the cable. With these, with these cable strips, they do give you a separate positive and ground which you can feed in 5 volts to these. For this length with 15 I'm pretty good just to power it again straight off the connector which is what I've done here but you could if you had like a meter long or you could do a crazy length and as long as you're just injecting the power every now and then you could still use something like this because this is not providing the the power it's just doing the controlling on the signal end so it's definitely something to keep in mind and why they're a good little board. But yeah, these work really well. There's plenty of other sketches out there. I think a guy, Dr. Z's, who I watch on YouTube, did a pretty good tutorial in a different sketch using pinky LEDs, I think it was called the sketch, uh, which gives you a lot more granular control and there's holiday patterns and all these kind of stuff. So I'll link down that below. But this is just a short video, just to show another cool little board. Pretty cheap, I think it was just over a dollar or something like that, if that. So yeah, just watching guys. Thanks and uh, catch you later.